Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we will be learning how to create a responsive navigation bar with some very cool uh, hovering, floating and pulsating effect and if you are new to my channel do hit the like button and subscribe my channel. So as you can see our navigation bar is completely responsive. When we increase the size of the screen we get our uh, menu option and when we decrease we have our menu button just click on it and here we have our side navigation bar and just look at the button effect it looks very cool okay and we'll be learning this everything on our video tutorial so don't skip the video and watch till the end okay here we have our uh, index.html and uh, just go to the link in the description to get this html format and okay just click on this material css navbar one and go to the raw file and you can copy this all on your index.html file or just you can uh, download the code just go to the code and download the zip file and extract it and you can use it okay okay now what we have here is a cdn for google icon fonts and a cdn for font awesome icons and a cdn for a material css and a script for a jquery and a script for javascript okay now we'll uh, go to a body part and create a nav tag with a class of a nav wrapper. Okay. Now open with a live server or you uh, open in a browser. Okay. How cool is that? It has already select its one color and there is a slightly shadow on the bottom. Okay. Now we'll change this color to a uh, CN uh, darken hyphen for okay it looks more good now now we'll create a div dead container inside the nav tag div dead container okay now inside the container we create a anchor tag and we'll put a logo to put a logo we'll put a class of a brand logo and let's say a nav bar okay how cool is that it has already selected its margin and padding and okay now uh, we just go back and uh, create on a unordered list and put a list anchor tag create a tree list let's say a uh, home and uh, about and a contact okay okay as you can see they are overlapping so to uh, get rid of this we'll uh, put a class right on another list let's put a class on right okay now it will move on right okay we don't have to put any uh, any hover effect because it have its one and it's looking very beautiful so now we'll work on to uh, these icons as you have seen in our intro okay now create another list put an anchor tag and just copy uh, for two times now put a I will put a notification button for that we'll use a material icon okay now just write a notifications okay here we can see our notification bell now uh, we'll work on our social media for social media icons we need to go for our uh, font awesome for that we we'll put a class of fab and fa hyphen facebook hyphen f okay here we have our facebook icon now just uh, change the second one facebook to our uh, instagram okay now as you can see our instagram icons as well now we'll put a uh, floating pulse effect as you have seen in our intro now just put a class of a btn that refers button floating space pulse okay as you can see it is already looking very beautiful now we'll just add some color on it for our notification we'll put an yellow for our facebook we'll add a blue color and for our Instagram, we'll add orange 
darken hyphen three. It's looking very good and eye catchy for our clients. And as you can see, uh, our navigation bar isn't responsive yet, and it's looking very ridiculous in our small screen and a medium screen device. To get rid of this, we'll be uh, adding or we'll be using uh, hide on medium and down class on an ordered list. So just write uh, next to right hide on medium and down. Okay, as you can see. Uh, it gets hide on a medium size and a small device screen. Now we'll be creating a button that will trigger to our side navigation bar. For that, we'll be creating another anchor tag and put a class of a side nav trigger. And we'll be putting another icon using materials icon. For that, I dot class material icons and write menu underscore open okay here we have our uh, menu open button but it doesn't work because we haven't added any uh, jquery or javascript and we haven't gave any id yet now we'll create another list again and put a class of a side nav and give a id of a mob which represents mobile or you can keep anything and just copy paste these uh, three link from the above and paste over here now go up and we'll put a data target on our side nav trigger and write a mob this will trigger our side nav and when we click on this it will open but we haven't added a jquery yet so it still doesn't work when we click on it create a script tag and inside the script tag we put a dollar documents uh, dot ready function Now put a dollar and a dot side nav dot side nav. Okay. Now it should work. Let's see on our browser. Okay. When we click on the button on a menu option, uh, it uh, opens and here we have our auto hover effect as well. It looks very cool. Okay. Now it's already like looking very cool and uh, it's a uh, completely responsive but uh, we haven't added some wavy effect on our buttons yet on our side navigation bar as we, I have shown on a intro version like this uh, it looks very cool so for this uh, we'll create a class on uh, three links for that write a waves effect space waves light and btn for button okay it's uh, looking pretty cool but we'll be adding a color of our same navigation bar which we, we have used on our main page for that write a cn darken hyphen for okay okay now uh, it's already looking looking pretty cool now we'll add a logo on our side nav as well for that just go back and create a h4 tag and put a class of a black text and put it on a center for that space center and write a nav bar okay here we have our side navigation bar as well so it's looking pretty cool and very good Okay, we have finished making our navigation bar completely responsive like I have shown you in the intro of my video tutorial. And if you like my video, then do share it with your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And thanks for watching guys. And if you have any questions regarding the video, do write in the comment section below. And thanks for watching again. See you in the next video. Bye bye.